So the uh, the mail arrived today, and I just ordered this on Friday. Today's Monday, and this is already here. I didn't pay extra for shipping. I just chose normal shipping, and uh, it's like holy crap, that was fast. <laughs> Anyways, this is how this arrived, and I thought um, I've never done this before. I thought I might do an unboxing, so bear with me. Um, this basically, uh, there's no extra packaging or anything. Apparently, uh, the tablets come like this too, um, but in like unmarked boxes. So, uh, I've already cut the tape and, uh, let's see what's in here. Well, this light pad is for helping with layouts for my artwork. Um, a lot of the stuff I do, uh, we lay out in smaller versions and then, uh, we enlarge it and it helps to have a light box. This is supposed to be a portable version. Um, this is cute. <laughs> a little thank you postcard and uh, it's just a little bit of artwork and a QR code to lead to their Facebook page. You've got the instructional manual. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward. It doesn't require any software installation or anything like that. Um, but you've got your choice of 12 languages. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, talks a little bit about the dimensions. So I think this one is an A4. Um, not quite sure. And I've got the adapter. Um, this looks familiar. <laughs> this is just a, uh, the basic adapter. Um, actually looks a lot like my Samsung Galaxy uh, wall adapter, but uh, I guess I wonder if they're interchangeable. Um, it's a travel adapter, so it makes sense that the voltages would be about the same for different devices. Um, you got the USB cord, or USB to micro USB. Uh, it looks different than you get with a phone that's flat. That should actually help because it's not uh, not so bulky. So get that out of the way. Uh, and this is how, how it was packed. I'm glad it made it here in one piece. <laughs> now, this is the... Uh, where's the model number? Oh, no, there's no model number on this one. Um, this is supposed to be the LB4, and the reason I chose this one is that it uh, has wireless capabilities, so you don't necessarily need the adapter other than charging it. Um, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> this has a built-in lithium-ion battery. And I chose that one because, oops, we're out of focus there. Um, I wanted something really portable, and I might not have a plug-in uh, handy to do it. And uh, this is surprisingly heavy. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Yeah, this is the LB4. And uh, it's a little... Uh, non-skid stoppers, so when you have it on the table or a desk. It's actually, it is pretty thin. I mean, it is, he like I, I said, it is heavy picking it up. It's got a little bit of weight behind it. Oh, there's my fingerprints on it. <laughs> but uh, it looks like a good size. It's actually bigger than I thought it would be, which is um, really nice. Uh, I was looking at the A3, which is the size that we work at for comic book art. It's 11 by 17 inches in American. I, I guess they use the paper sizes overseas, but um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's nice. And then you've got uh, some kind of power switch. I guess, I'm guessing that is the on and off with the battery. And uh, there's the USB port there. 
that seems to be it. Um, oh, nope, I guess it's not charged, so uh, I guess that's something I'll have to do before I use it. Or maybe I'll plug it in in a bit and uh, give it a whirl. I'm in, in the middle of a couple of deadlines right now, but uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Um, I'm not sure about the portability because of the weight, the weight behind it, but it isn't flimsy. And that's one thing I was worried about um, is if I travel with this and I stick it in my bag, is it going to survive the travel? And it's actually not only the heft behind it, it's pretty, uh, pretty firm, um, nice and solid. You can see a little bit of the, the guts inside. So, um, well, I guess I'll check back later and uh, give this a whirl. So, thanks for checking this out, and I'll have a review up after I've given it a try.